Before we get creative, let's first change a couple project settings. For this tutorial, we will be compositing in linear ACES CG color. We'll switch to OCIO color management and use the latest configuration file. Let's make sure that the working color space is set to scene linear ACES CG. Note that the default display color space is set to sRGB. Once we're in our comp, the display color space adjustment will help us easily view our linear ACES CG work on our sRGB monitor and can easily be toggled on and off. Once we set up our show's specific color using adjustment layers in the comp, we'll be able to set the display correction to none and view our comp with the final show color instead. This will include shot-specific creative color from a CDL and also the official LUT for the show. For this tutorial, we will be working at 24 frames per second, so it might be a good idea to change your After Effects preferences to interpret footage at 24 frames per second when imported. Let's go ahead and import the media for the tutorial. Don't forget to import all of the passes of the CG element. We'll make sure that we interpret footage with each element, specifying the color space that each footage or graphic is in. After Effects will automatically convert the media from that color space into linear ACES CG, which is our working color space for this tutorial. It's important to find out from the production team or whoever generated the plates or elements what color space they're in. In our scenario, the plates from production are all in ACES 2065, and the CG and graphics elements are already in ACES CG. I'm going to quickly create a folder structure that I like to use to keep everything organized while I work. After making a new pre-comp using our master plate, we can double check that our comp frame numbers are matching the frame numbering of the plate. In the next step, we'll quickly create an adjustment layer that applies the official show color using a shot-specific CDL and a show LUT provided by production. We'll import the QuickTime reference clip sent to us by editorial, and we can use that to make sure that the color we're applying matches perfectly. For this step, we'll need to set the display color correction to none. The color will be controlled using our own adjustment layer. We will be applying several OCIO effects to complete the conversion from ACES CG into the final show color. First, we have a conversion from our working space of ACES CG to ACES 2065, the same color space the plate came in. Second, we'll do a conversion from ACES 2065 into a log format that was specified by production. In our case, ARRI Log C4. From this color space, we'll be able to then safely apply the shot CDL, which was provided by production and it has some creative color baked into it. And then finally, the show LUT itself, which converts the log looking image into a final colored work of art. With the show LUT turned on, it's easier to see what the CDL is doing. And now if we toggle on and off the edit reference that we brought in to compare, if we did it right, the color should look the same. 